name is Adavon Bakhtari. And I'm Carlos Molito. So what we're going to practice here is how to use a flux chamber to take a sample from a liquid surface. So here we have the flux chamber set up. So if you can get a close up of the flux chamber. And as you can see, the, the Carlos has already set it up to bring in the sweeper and take in the sample. The sweeper is set up at uh, about, uh, what is it, Carlos, two and a half? Uh, 3.9 liters per minute. 3.9 liters per minute, yeah, perfect. And he's going to take a sample from that. Okay, so Carlos is going to show us how you take a sample using the flux chamber on this area source simulator. Okay, Carlos, uh, why don't you tell us first what you're using here? Uh, I'm using clean air, obtained from a scuba shop, okay. and the delivered pressure is 80 psi. Perfect. Uh, you can use air or nitrogen. A lot of places nitrogen might be hard to find, so you can go with air. Uh, what's this sweeper going to be? What's the volume of sweeper? Uh, it's 3.9 liters per minute. Perfect. Perfect. And how do you measure the 3.9 liters? Why don't you show us? Sure. So I'm just using a flow meter and turn on the air. So as you can see from the dial, it's reading at 3.9 liters per minute. And it's approximately 12 minutes to evacuate the volume of the flux chamber. Um, so that would be twice that you would do that. And simply, you would then connect to a vacuum chamber. Perfect. Um, what's going to be the rate of your sampling? The rate of sampling is 2 liters per minute. Perfect. Okay, so show us how you rig up the vacuum chamber to do a time sampling of 2 liters per minute. Sure. So another flow meter here. Close up the vacuum chamber. Adjust the flow meter now to two. So it's currently at two liters per minute. And I would just wait to fill the bag. Okay, and what's a good way? Um, let's say the best practice is to first what? Do to like evacuate the bag. Okay, perfect. And then what? And then refill it again, just to condition the bag. Yeah, this, this process is called purging, where you Fill the bag halfway, you evacuate all of it, and you fill it again. It helps to basically get rid of any dead airspace, and also to, if the bag is going to absorb any of the chemicals, TTFE doesn't, but uh, Tetlar, for example, for it to absorb the chemicals so that your final sample is not going to be diluted in any way. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. For more information, visit our website centroid.com or join our LinkedIn group Centroid Older Academy. Centroid is the future of sensory technology.